In this video, we go over how to animate an expression, a function, multiple functions, a point, and plot objects. Let's get started. We begin by noticing that I have created this expression f, which looks like this, and I plotted it with some options, dark blue thickness is 4. When we want to animate it, we need to add another parameter that is going to change with time. So let's create this function now, this expression now, f colon equals k times x times e to the minus k times x. I'll put a colon there because you recognize it. So how do we create an animation? It's in the plots package, colon dash animate, you can see it there, open parentheses. The first thing you give it is the word plot, because that's what we're going to plot. I'm going to shift enter to show you what the next line is. The next line is a list of all the things that you would normally put in the plot procedure. So I'm going to actually select all this, copy, and put it down here, close, and now I've included everything in. But because the expression includes a K, which is going to be our timing unit, I will shift enter, hit K equals one dot dot five. Closing, hit enter, and there is our expression with K equal to one. Click on the animation itself, push play, and as K increases, we can see how the figure changes. So what if we want to animate a function? Again, this function has to have something that is going to play the role of the time parameter. So I'll create f of x a colon equals, and again, I will say this is e to the minus x minus a quantity squared. There's our expression. Get out to the right. There's our expression that we want to animate. So again, I could plot all this. I could plot it at a equals 1, a equals 3, a equals 5. Okay, X goes from 0 to 6. And each one, there's the 1, there's the 3, there's the 5. So you see that as we change A, it's going to move its position. So we'll use A as our time parameter, and let's animate. Plots, colon, dash, animate, open parentheses, and we are going to animate the plot. And I'll hit Shift Enter so I can read everything on the next line. F of X, A, where X goes from 0 to 6. And again, you can put in the options here, such as line style equals dash dot and color equals magenta. End of the square bracket. That's everything that you would put into the plot. The only thing that's missing is our time parameter, comma, shift enter. A goes from, oh, say, minus one dot dot seven. Close, there's close the animate, hit enter, click on it, go up here, there's the button, push play, and we can see our animation go across. Okay. Notice there are only 25 frames, we'll be able to change it. In fact, you can move it back and forth. If you go over here, you can select this so that when you hit play, it starts all over again. And if you wanted to go back and forth continuously, you can have it go that way and then that way. One animation technique that comes up a bit is animating the tracing of a line. So again, let's use plots, colon, dash, animate, open parentheses. We're going to animate a plot, comma, shift, enter. Okay. Here's the expression that we want to animate. Cosine of t, and I'm going to choose underscore underscore one, close parentheses, squared, comma, t underscore underscore one, goes from zero to some time parameter. So t1 plays a role of a second time parameter. Color equals dark 
blue and we'll thickness equals four close square bracket comma shift enter so what was going to happen is it's going to reproduce cosine of t1 where where t1 goes from zero to the value of what t is and t is going to go from zero to i don't know let's make it four times pi escape escape there's pi close parentheses hit enter oops thickness i must spell it properly thickness equals four now we click on the animation we push play and you can see how it traced out the line starting from zero to four pi in this next example, we want to plot two functions simultaneously, f of t and g of t. However, both include the constant k. We would like to have k vary with time, so we can see how these functions change with different values of k. Plots, colon, dash, animate, open parentheses. It is an animation of a plot, comma, shift, enter, again, for readability, what do we want to plot? We want to plot square bracket f of t and g of t. And by putting both in the square bracket, we're going to say two functions will be plotted simultaneously. Uh, let's make it t goes from 0 to 10. And we'll put in a legend equals open square bracket. The first one is f and the second one is g close square bracket and it will make some interesting thickness thickness equals four now we close for all the information sent to plot comma shift enter and again we're going to vary k with time k goes from zero to four close parentheses hit enter and at k equals zero both of these are flat lines as we increase the k value you can see how both f and g change. In this next example, we're going to keep the parameter k constant, and we're going to let f and g represent the position x and y of some object. So we're going to plot the position of the object as a function of time. Now let's animate. Plots, colon, dash, animate, open parentheses. It is the animation of a plot, comma. All right, what are we plotting? Let's pass it all the information. It is a list of points. The points have an X and Y component. There is only one point within this list, so that's why it is square bracket, square bracket, etc. Comma. All right, this is going to be of style equals point. Shift enter. Symbol size equals 30. Symbol equals solid circle. Close square bracket, that's everything we're going to pass it to plot, comma, shift, enter, and now t will play the role of the time parameter. Okay, click on there, hit enter, and it goes in a circle. Hmm, didn't go far enough. Wonder why. Let's make it something like 2 times pi. That looks more like it. Hit enter, and it goes in a full circle. The, hmm, it looks kind of oblong. Comma, scaling equals constrained. That looks square. Hit enter, and it's a full circle. This last example is plotting an plot object. The example comes from animation of a baseball traveling through the air assuming there's no air resistance there is its horizontal position as a function of time there's its vertical position as a function of time again no air resistance we'll put some constants in let's find out when it hits the ground again it takes 5.9 seconds for which it has traveled 47.1 meters Given that we know its position is a function of time, taking the derivative and making a function out of it in the x direction and do the same thing in the y direction, you get the velocity in the x and the y directions. You can also calculate the accelerations, but instead of using the make function with a t, you use the d operator. Hit enter, and you can see here's our function, 
not surprising, the acceleration in the x direction is zero. Now let's create the object which will be our plot object. This is a baseball which depends upon time. It is the display of three items, an arrow which is going to be a plot of our velocity, an arrow which is going to be a plot of our acceleration, and essentially the position of the baseball at x and y. We will do it with scaling equals constrained. The last step is pretty simple. We animate plots, colon, dash, animate, open parentheses. We are animating the baseball procedure or function. We are going to pass it some information. That information is in T. T is going to go from 0 to our T final. And let's make sure our size is something of interest. Size equals 500 by 500. Close square bracket, close parentheses, hit enter. And there it is. And when we push play, as you see it travels, the arrows change with time. We may notice it moves a bit too fast. So what we can do is we can add more frames. And since this runs at 10 frames per second, if we use round of 10 times T final, then it should run in real time, hitting enter, pushing play, go. And that is real time if there was no air resistance. Animate comes with multiple options, two which I find most useful. Frames, which allows you to set the number of frames to be displayed in your movie, and param info equals true or false, which allows you to display or not display the parameter that is changing with time.